Hi, today I'm going to show you a few things to do with Windows XP and what you can do on it. First I wanted to show you in your control panel. One of the things I wanted to show you with, was with user accounts. How the different things you can do is like changing your log off and log on. Which all you do is you go into control panel, user accounts, click on user accounts icon and go change the way users log on or off. I use the welcome screen, it doesn't matter which one you prefer, the one that doesn't have a welcome screen is where you do. You have to type in the username and password, but yeah I also wanted to show you how with things like mouse and everything, how you can change the different mouse pointers. So. I've got a couple on here I want to show you. Obviously this is using a different thing because mine's a, a Microsoft mouse. But you go into your pointers and usually you would have to browse to change all the different icons if you wanted to get a new set of icons. But I've already got Windows Arrow installed on here so I just click apply which you can download this. And OK and see how it's Windows Arrow. And then you've also got things like the sounds, so you just go sound, speech and audio devices, and one of the things you can do is change the different sounds that you have. I usually set mine to Windows Vista, and I like the sounds of it anyway, and you can just change so many stuff in the control panel, and you've got the security center to show you whether your computer has your firewall antivirus and your automatic updates turned on so it'll show you whether your antivirus is out of date or anything so it's pretty good and then you've also got the other programs like Windows Media Player and Internet Explorer installed by the way this is Internet Explorer 8 so it's a, it'll be different from the one that's installed on your Windows XP already you also have your basic Windows XP tutorial basically show you everything that you can do. Um, you go to accessories and tool Windows XP, here it is, and you can do so many things. Remote desktop connection, I want to show you this. Now if you've got a network PC, which I don't, but if you did, all you have to do is type in the computer. Type in the username, and then you'll have you can change the different display type, local resources, so you bring the sound to this computer. This is good for businesses if you're trying to connect to a laptop that's on over at your business from your computer at home. And you can use the local devices and resources, so say if you wanted to print something that was at your business, but you wanted to print it here, you would print it to your local printer. And then you've got your experience, obviously you'll want to have ten, uh, LAN 10 megabits per second or higher, or broadband depends what you've got, I've got broadband but LAN if you've got a network will have everything and then just broadband doesn't do the font or desktop background but that's fine, it's better if you And then you've got your LAN and your advanced settings. So the server authentication and connect from anywhere, so yeah, that's your basic thing. So that's with remote desktop connection and you can also use your leads. We've got Windows Messenger, which allows you to chat and corporate. Or anywhere you've got Outlook Express, which will allow you to look at mail and everything. And Adobe Read is not installed, but Adobe Read allows you to view PDF files. Usually you would need when you're opening files from the internet. And then you can also download files, you can also download Nero and like that, which allows you to download. Right around when you go down, when you go down, flash is just burn CDs and DVDs, create CDs and DVDs, erase CDs and DVDs, do anything, you can do anything with what you want, what you want to think, the data, CDs, DVDs, the audio, the video, the audio, 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 the aud
that you know it spooky love on the CDs, DVDs and so your info and everything so you know it's pretty good for burning CDs and DVDs so yeah that's about it with Windows XP oh yeah you also got Windows Media Maker for so you can make the new however you might next tutorial so thanks for listening to my presentation if you like damn it, I know you. You wanna show like a gun out of holster? Tell me whatever.